Hot chocolate, 20 cents. I'll have a cup. Thank you. Just one. Hey, why am not I taking Thank you. chocolate? <laughs> I'll have one cup. So you guys want to count the money that you guys earned at your hot chocolate stand today? Yeah. yeah. 20, 21, 22, 23, 39, 40. You made $40. Good job. How many cups did you guys sell? 200. 200. You know what? I bet if you guys raise your price to 60 cents tomorrow, I bet you can make even more money. What do you guys think of that? Yeah. yeah. Hot chocolate, 60 cents. I'll take one. That's all I have. That's a little high. Okay. There you go. <laughs> hey, do you guys want to count your money that you made today at your hot chocolate stand? Yeah. Let's see if you made more money now that you raised your price. Five, six, seven, nine, sixty. All right. So you did make more money. How many cups did you guys sell today? A hundred. Oh, wow. You sold less cups and you made more money. Wow, we made more money. Can you raise our price again? Yes! Hot chocolate, 90 cents! Hi guys, were you guys selling this for 20 cents the other day? Yes. Oh, 90 cents is just a little too high. I can't afford that. How much is it? 90, 90 cents. cents. Oh, I guess I'll take a cup. Thank you. Hot chocolate, 90 cents. 90 cents? Can't afford it. Did you say 90 cents? Mm -hmm. That's a lot, but I'll take it. Thank you. <clears throat> so you guys want to count your money that you made at your hot chocolate stand today? Yeah. Okay. Twenty. $22.50. So you guys made less money even though you raised your prices. I wonder why. Because we raised the price and not that much people wanted it because it was a higher price. Yeah, you're probably right. So how many how many cups did you guys sell again? 25. 25. So you didn't even sell as many cups either, right? Because mm -hmm. not as many people wanted it. Oh no! Our friends Kurt and Mikhaila introduced us to several basic economic concepts. First, we are introduced to the law of demand. The law of demand states that as prices are increased, the quantity demanded of a good or service decreases. The table shows that each time Kurt and Mikhaila raised their price, sales dropped. First, they sold 200 cups at 20 cents a cup, then 100 cups at 60 cents and finally, only 25 cups when they got a bit greedy and raised their price to 90 cents a cup. Each of these points is on the demand curve for hot chocolate in Kurt and Mikhaila's neighborhood. Second, Kurt and Mikhaila introduced us to the concept of elasticity of demand. The elasticity of demand measures the sensitivity of the quantity demanded to a change in a product's price. When Kurt and Mikhaila raise their price from 20 cents to 60 cents a cup, their revenues increased from $40 to $60. This is because the quantity demanded is not very sensitive to a change in the price between 20 cents 
and 60 cents a cup. The elasticity of demand is said to be inelastic between these prices. However, we saw that revenues actually dropped to $22.50 when they raised their price to 90 cents a cup. Kurt was right on when he said that 90 cents is just too much to pay for a cup of hot chocolate. When revenues decrease as a result of a price increase, the elasticity of demand is said to be elastic. It's really interesting to note that the same product, in this case hot chocolate, is elastic at higher prices and inelastic at lower prices. This is true of most goods and services. We can understand why the elasticity of demand is so important to businesses. Management needs to have a good idea of how increasing and lowering their price will impact their bottom line. By knowing their elasticity of demand, they are able to make reliable forecasts. To learn more about this lesson and other important economic concepts, please visit our website at HigherRockEducation.com. Thank you.